Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, hi, my name is Madison and I am a school nurse, which sounds so weird to like say, but I'm starting my new nursing position as a school nurse in about a month toward the end of August and I'm so excited. And here on my channel, I've just shared everything nursing related, a little bit of beauty, lifestyle, and just kind of going through nursing school and just trying to figure out my early 20s. It's been a little bit stressful, a little bit hard, but I have been so grateful to take you guys along on this whole journey with me. But I have a super fun vlog for you guys today. And if you're not already, make sure you subscribe. We're so close to 100,000 subscribers, which is just so crazy to me. And little Maddie would be so proud and freaking out and also if you guys are interested you can follow me on my instagram and tiktok which i will put right here and then also down in the description and before we get started i wanted to say a huge huge thank you to scentbird for sponsoring this video today if you guys can hear the rain i am so sorry it has been so rainy here so if you guys have never heard of scentbird before scentbird is a fragrance subscription service that allows you to pick a designer perfume or more than one monthly for only 17 dollars and as always i do have a code for you you guys and my code is just nursing which I'm gonna put right here and then also down in the description and you can also scan the QR code right here which will take you to the Scentbird website when you use my code nursing you will get 55% off your first month of Scentbird which is absolutely crazy so you guys can use the link in my description or you can just use your phone and scan the QR code and it will take you to the Scentbird website I feel like the summertime is the best time to try different things whether it be different activities, checking things off your bucket list, and especially new scents. I feel like there's just so many fun scents that you can wear in the summertime. Semper fragrances allow you to get a 30-day supply to try a new fragrance before committing to buying the full size. Semper has over 600 designer brands to choose from, from designer labels such as Prada, Gucci, and Versace, to niche brands such as Perfumes de Marly, DS and Durga, Confessions of a Rebel, and so much more. They also have perfumes and colognes with a lot of unisex options as well. And some fragrances can cost up to $150, and some are even more, ranging from $300 to $500. So I wanted to show you guys the scents that I picked out. And first off, look how cute these are. The cases, anything fun and colorful, and especially pink, you guys know I love. I will be matching these to my bags. They're just so convenient and they're just sleek and slim and you can just throw it right in your bag, especially even your tiny bags if you're going out. This fits so perfect and I wanna show you guys the ones that I got. So this is what it looks like up close and all you do is you just go like this and then it, it opens like this. And I wanted to show you guys. So this one is the Pink Sugar and Creamy Sunshine. Look how much product you get in here. And I already used some. But look at this. And with each perfume that you get, it also gives you like a little card. And it tells you about it. So for the Pink Sugar Creamy Sunshine, it has coconut milk, orange, cotton candy, mimosa, and caramel. And I am telling you guys, this smells so good. Spritz. Tap. And... Mm, oh my gosh like if you like the pink sugar one this is just like perfect for summer and it my sister wears this perfume all the time and she gets so many compliments anywhere we go so i got this versace yellow diamond perfume and this one is lemon mimosa pear freesia i think i'm saying that right and then bergamot and this one is like a really fresh and clean scent and it smells like pretty sophisticated then I got the Skylar Pink Cannon Fragrance. This one is Grapefruit, Pink Salt, and Cedar. And then lastly, I got this X Nihilo. I hope I'm saying it right. Fleur Narcotique. <laughs> Some of these names are a little bit hard to say. This one has Bergamot, Lychee, Peony, Transparent Wood, and Musk. Thank you so much, Scentbird, for working with me and sponsoring this video. Again, all you guys have to do is use my code NURSING, or you can click the QR code right here. It'll take you to the website, and you will get 55% off your first month of Scentbird. I know you guys will love it just as much as I do. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started into the vlog. Good morning, you guys. Monday, July 17th, 10 a.m. exactly, and I've had a rough 
week because I've been sick and I'm gonna like kind of talk through everything while I do my skincare. I just showered and I feel like I look so pale. I have not been like out in the sun at all really this summer. I had the stomach bug or stomach flu and I'm still dealing with it. And so today's Monday. So last Saturday, Saturday, July 8th, Susanna started not feeling good that Friday the 7th and like his stomach was bothering him and so Saturday I started not feeling good kind of like a little bit then it got really bad on Sunday and just TMI but like just a lot of diarrhea and then I think I was like so anxious about it that I like made myself throw up <laughs> two times which that's not fun so I was like crying and I I was just feeling horrible like I literally felt like I was dying and I don't know if I've ever been so sick in my entire 24 years before which I'm very grateful for but I it was just so scary and I was so scared about getting dehydrated and like I was like oh my goodness I don't want to have to go to the hospital just because I'm like I can't like what if I poop myself and I'm like waiting to be seen like it is like running to the bathroom like when it hits I'm running to the point where like I needed to keep the toilet seat open I needed to keep all the doors open so I could be like run there and I remember thinking some of the nights like I need to like sleep by the toilet I'd be woken up out of my sleep because my stomach hurt so bad and I'd have to run to the bathroom and then it kind of got a little bit better and then on Wednesday I started getting respiratory symptoms so I started getting kind of like a sore throat but it was more so just a stuffy nose and kind of like a cough and I'm like are you kidding me so then I'm like dealing with that on top of my stomach hurting my cold's pretty much gone now I have like a little bit of stuffy nose left but I think my like I just I know I don't take care of myself and um I think my body just it was like my immune system was already compromised so it was like boom let's just do something get her get her with something else too so I've been really struggling this week and I think me being sick had um, kind of really put me in a downward spiral. Um, I feel like when you're sick, it really does make you appreciate your health more. And I'm lucky that, you know, it's just something minor like the stomach flu. But I mean, just I was feeling so sick, so defeated, just like crying and just very scared because I'd never been so sick before and I did not want to have to end up in the hospital and so right now since I am kind of in between not necessarily in between jobs because I like I have a job and I start in August but um right now like my insurance doesn't start until I like start so I am on Cobra insurance right now and if you guys know anything about Cobra it is not cheap and so I'm like you know that stresses me out paying for that so i'm already paying like huge out of pocket a month for cobra insurance and you have to be on your own insurance i believe starting at 26 and i'm only 24 but my family could save a lot of money per month if they drop down from five people on the plan to four so i kind of knew going into my job like oh you're gonna be on your own insurance so that's definitely been kind of like a stressor for me and then um just on top of everything else a couple weeks ago I had a UTI and so I went to the minute clinic and they did like a urine culture and I just got the bill for that yesterday and it was $174 which is like painful and I'm like I'm already paying so much out of pocket per month for this insurance and then I have to pay like that for the UTI and so you know that was stressing me out and I'm like I do not want to go to the like hospital or have to go to the doctor so I just need to take better care of myself but I feel like this has been like such a realization for me that I, I really need to take better care of myself because I don't like at all I was in a really bad place this week and I'm trying to kind of get out of that um my sister made me a little habit tracker um she's been really just um like really supporting me this week and being there for me and I feel like when you are someone who struggles with anxiety depression um it's really hard to just do like normal things to take care of yourself that maybe someone who doesn't struggle with doesn't even like think about kind of like taking your vitamins in the morning brushing your teeth washing your hair or you know brushing your hair um 
so we kind of she made like a little thing for me about like morning skincare morning teeth vitamins brushing my hair getting my body moving making my bed and stuff and then um i can kind of color in what i do today is week the start of week five of my class which is my last week which is crazy for this um, professional nursing practice class. I can't believe it. So today we need to fix these nails because I was gonna go and get them like taken off on Friday with my sister, but I was like, I'm like, I can't sit and get them taken off. So I'm gonna try to do them tonight. But you guys, please just ignore them and know that like I, I was trying, but I, I just couldn't. I did shower and I changed out of my pajamas. I like to stay in my pajamas, but I will show you guys. I mean, this isn't anything crazy, but kind of just getting out of like your nighttime clothes. So I have <laughs> my shirt on that my dad got me for Christmas and it says, if I'm just a nurse, wait, what does it say? Yeah, just a nurse who loves pigs. And then I just have my really comfy Tommy John pants on. I love my Tommy Johns. Na 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 Ooh Daylight I wake up feeling like you won't play right I was trying to brush my hair Yeah Literally broken half Good this here but I have this Chobani yogurt is gonna be good for the probiotic and just one of these little mini clip bars I have my planner here we have these here which I'm gonna put to the side so we have our workspace ready I'm also gonna open these up all the way to get as much light as we can up in up in here a part of my habit tracker is my vitamins so I'm gonna take my probiotic this is the once daily women's I really like these ones so I'm gonna take one of those vitamin D women's multivitamin I think these ones I haven't taken these in a minute yeah two okay there we go so I have all um, my vitamin D and my probiotics in here and the vitamin D that I have I believe this is yeah target the up and up brand I don't really have a steady hand brush my hair And if you guys are um, wondering, um, Allie made this on Canva. So before I get into making my to-do list for today, um, I think it was like last week, Kiel sent over, look how cute this little summer bag is, and they sent over the Friulic Brew Rejuvenating Facial Essence. Um, let's check this out. Ooh, oh my gosh, it's kind of fancy. Directions. Shake well before use, pour a few drops onto hand about a size of a dime, press palms together, and gently press into clean, dry skin on the face and neck, avoiding eye area. Um, follow with your regular skincare. So I'm going to definitely have to try this. My skin has been really dry, probably just from being sick and stuff, and I haven't been, you know, taking care of it. Um, and then this superb all-over body moisturizer. Oh, I'm going to definitely try this. Um, so thank you so much, Kiehl's. And then, I still cannot believe this, uh, YSL sent over, um, their Halo Tint Highlighters. And I have, um, them in, um, NU Gold and NU Rosy Quartz. Um, and this is just such a treat. It really is. I just feel so crazy. Or so blessed. It says Shake Well Before Use. So they're in, like, these... Um, little, little tubes. I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. These look beautiful. So this one's a little bit more, obviously the gold one is a little, <laughs> I'm so bad at explaining, but I feel like the gold one is obviously more gold compared to the rose quartz one. Is that what it's called? A little more pinky. Um, maybe I will take these to New York with me for the Drake concert because I've been looking like for like a new highlighter um like a cream one and I'm so happy because I haven't really found one that I really really like yet and sometimes I feel like with my cream highlighters it takes my foundation off so if you guys have tips like I used to know how to do makeup um and I used to be so into it and like that's what I would ask for for my birthday and Christmas and everything and now I just, I, I don't know, I, I don't know, but um, 
thank you so much YSL I I don't know I just if I think of that too much I will cry so thank you guys so much at YSL Beauty I think I mentioned this in my last video this is the day designer planner I always get questions this is my third year in a row using a day, day designer this was my one from last year so when it comes to my to-do list on here they have like times which honestly i may benefit from breaking down and doing time slots like setting <clears throat> okay maddie you have two hours to do this or do this and Allie's kind of helped me with that a little bit um but on here at the top they have like top three priorities um, which sometimes I do my top three, other times I kind of just make a to-do list. So what I'm also going to do right now is open my laptop and kind of look at the tasks that I have to do this week for my last week of classes. This week we're talking about disaster preparedness, which I am very intrigued in. Um, so I think it'll be an interesting, um, lesson and week. Um, so I'm just going to kind of open my blackboard, write down some of my tasks that I have to do, as well as other things I have to respond to some um companies for some brand deals that are coming up and stuff like that na, 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 na. Ooh, ooh. so here is my little to-do list here i like to add some little fun stickers um kind of done some things here but I wanted to show you guys kind of the setup for like my class and everything so they did give us this checklist which I think I have shown before and this has been like amazing and I've kind of been keeping track of all my points and stuff and I'm so excited because I got a hundred on my paper this week and a hundred on my discussion post which is awesome so I only have two more things to do because I already did this like the first week I didn't know we were supposed to be doing like just one section of it and I did like all three so anyway that's that so right now I'll show you guys here I have a 97 in the class and I have 321 out of the 330 points so I'm super proud of myself so I mentioned that we use blackboard and it's kind of divided by modules so each week is a different module so week one um we went over it says like welcome to professional nursing but we went over like the social determinants of health Week two was legal considerations and nursing practice. Week three was communication. Week four was ethical consideration. This week we have emergency preparedness. So I just click on this module and it does like a breakdown of like everything and like our required readings for the week and everything like that. So here we have, um, there's like always a video. Normally there's a PowerPoint, but I don't know if there's one for this week where they just do an overview of everything. So I'm going to watch that. Also, these are the two chapters I have to read in my book. There's three articles to read, so I just kind of put three in parentheses here. And then three little YouTube videos to watch. And then I have a discussion board, which I want to get done today. And then we also have like an oral and written like PowerPoint presentation. I think it has to be like seven minutes this week. So those are like the two main things. I also put together, I just have this like little folder here. And... Um, in here I have this is my like welcome packet to the RN to BS and I just printed it because they said it was like super important and here this just kind of breaks down like everything that you can expect in the program people to contact how to enroll in classes everything like that so I just have it in here so it's just easy to see if I need anything canceling dropping classes stuff like that helpful hints and then I printed out all of like the class offerings that they have up until 2025 like when they start everything like that so yeah I wake up feeling like you don't play right I used to know but now that don't feel right hi you guys it is Tuesday July 18th how is it already July I just got to Marshall's. I'm so proud of myself. I finished my discussion board. I set my alarm and I was like, okay, I got an hour to do this because it should not be taking me like the whole day to do something like this. Um, and I just knocked it out. Yeah, so I got some Starbucks. I just got a pink drink with no berries and I'm feeling better, which is so amazing. Um, and then I've just been jamming out to Central Sea all the way here. Any of my UK, um, subscribers and friends i love him he is i just love his music so i just got to therapy i need it so bad <laughs> i 
to get a couple things from Marshalls. So I will show you. I only spent $35, which I'm proud of myself. So the first thing, I had to get Milo a little toy. I got him a little mermaid because it's so cute. I wanted to get him this one, but it was like $20 and he normally just rips up all of his stuff. So this one was $4.99. It's cute and I love mermaids, so. And then the first thing I saw, I'm not like, I used to be a Hello Kitty person when I was little, but I've seen this on TikTok and it's a Kawaii compact mirror impressions vanity one and it would be so cute for my bag and i'm just thinking for like the drake concert and everything i probably need batteries oh my gosh this is super cute oh my gosh you could pick so many pimples in this two times magnifying thing don't pick your face but i do because it's addicting Oh my gosh, and then there's the little button. So I think, I mean, obviously you probably need batteries. All right, let's see. Oh, ooh, look at that. And it's nice and slim. You can just put it in your bag. Just pop it right in there. And then these were $3, you guys, hydrocoiloid pimple patches. So if you guys don't know, that's literally what, like it's a hydrocoiloid. And it's like a type of bandage. I remember learning about them, learning about them in nursing school. And so, like the Band-Aid brand, I don't even know. They have the hydrocolloid like blister ones, and I love those for my face too. But these were three bucks, and they're like different shape. Two boxes of those. And then the last thing I got was a hairbrush because y'all saw yesterday. Well, it's kind of like oh, whatever. You guys saw yesterday that I broke mine. I'm gonna make some bullet points of things I wanted to touch on in therapy so I don't get sidetracked. So I will come update you guys when I am done. I feel so much better. I just feel, it just went really well. And my therapist, I think, I don't know if she has like a, it's like a 10 minute alarm. I think like she has set, just set on her phone, like sessions almost done so she can keep track. But I talk so much, I need like three hours. I need, to, shoot, I think I need like four hours. But anyway, I'm super happy because I was able, I scheduled two more appointments, one for August 1st, one for August 8th. Um, ideally, I would like to do every other week, so hopefully I can get on that schedule. But the third week of August, I am, I have my orientation for my job. So I couldn't go that week on that Tuesday. Um, because she's at like different locations on different days and this is the closest location to me. Have you guys ever had piata before? It's Italian street food. Me and my boyfriend like it and he kind of got me hooked on it. I just got the marinara with penne and meatballs and extra cheese. It's kind of like an Italian chipotle. I was gonna run home, but I think I'm gonna run over to a, uh, a place called Affordable Uniforms and see if they have any cute and scrub tops for school. Ugh, I just got sauce all over me, you know? This is why I can't have nice things because I stain everything, but I eat like a little kid. Hello guys. I look I look rough. Okay, but I have this lovely huge friend here that I was just messing with. But I'm gonna put a face mask on that I just got this morning from Lush. I went to Airy, Lush, and HM is where I got stuff from. I was gonna go into Sephora and I was like, no, I don't need to, but like I do, but I don't. It is Thursday, July 20th. It is 2:32. I woke up at seven this morning which i'm so proud of myself and me and my dad went and we got coffee i dropped my car off to get the oil change and a tire rotation and then me and my dad went and grabbed coffee and we sat at duncan for like about an hour together and it was just perfect i'm gonna use this power mask this mask of magna minty this used to be like my go-to in high school which is so funny and then me and my sister went uh shopping we leave for new york uh tuesday morning and i think she just wanted to like see things she only got i think she only got like a pair of shoes or something but um i really didn't need to get anything so we went there and then we kind of sat at starbucks first and she was like going over um like my media kit with me and she's a minor in digital marketing and she is actually working with this one influencer right now and in like an internship um doing stuff for her brand so she is like helping me out right now and she's amazing and she's so creative and she is just, she's very talented. 
in ways that I am not. <laughs> so I really appreciate her and all of her help. I got this. I saw it on TikTok. It's the Super Milk Conditioning Hair Primer. I heard it smells like really good. And I can tell a lot of people were like getting it there because all of like the smaller sizes were sold out. So I had to get the bigger one. It's a conditioning hair primer, almond, coconut, and oat milk. And then I just got two things from H&M. I saw these and I was like, these are, have my name written all over them. And so first I just got this little white tank. And then I got this super cute pink one as well at Aerie. I just got these cute little like pajama shorts, little boxer pajama shorts. And I, what I'm gonna do is I am gonna shower right now. Well, I'm gonna let my mask sit for a minute and then shower. And then I'm gonna show you guys all my new scrubs that I got and I'll try them on for you. All right guys, so obviously I just showered, but I wanted to show you guys the scrubs that I got. So these are the first ones that I got. So I was thinking these, I got from Affordable Uniform. It's the Healing Hands brand, top and bottom. So it's just like navy blue. And I was thinking like, you know, a darker color for when I'm on a period, everything like that. And then, like, it's just some bottoms that can go with, like, different tops. Um, I guess they are, like, considered it jogger style, I think, or because they go like this here. Um, but I really like it. And then I also like how it looks when it's tucked in as well, which I will show you. So I really like it tucked in as well. I think they look really cute. They're super fitting and super comfortable. So you guys know I had to get at least one fun one, one pink one. Um, I hope the navy blue will look okay with it because again, like all my others are more of like a pop of color. But look how cute with the uh, cows and then the moons are like glittery. I don't know if you can kind of see. Also, sorry for the noise. We're getting trees cut down, so it's like super loud. But I think it is so cute and it's just so fun. And I know, I feel like the kids are just gonna love it. Hopefully they love it as much as I do. It is so loud, I'm so sorry. But next I got this adorable undershirt. It is so soft and it's actually like pretty big. So I might have to like shrink it. Cause it like, I mean, it could be like a nightgown on me. Okay, not really, but like it's pretty long. But I thought this would look really cute, like tucked in if I just wanted to do like this with scrub. Um, like scrub bottoms or like with the scrub top or like with the scrub top over it and just like the pop of floral underneath i think it would look so cute like this is seriously the softest thing ever and the brand is zoe and chloe and it is so soft and so cute i want one in like every color and every pattern and then i also just got a plain like white undershirt and this one you can kind of i mean it's definitely like see-through so this one i would definitely wear like a scrub top over but it's just like a simple white long sleeve undershirt and i love like the neckline of it and it's just super it's not too thick but i'm a freeze baby so it's really nice to just have some of these and have these options for like the colder times and i also got the same this is the helping hands brand the undershirt i got both of the undershirts an extra small the floral one is like pretty big and it was like a medium because that was the only one they had but this one would be so cute to wear with these blue ones if i didn't want to wear a scrub top that day or honestly like any color i think it would be really cute um and i like it it's just simple and comfortable you can move you can dance if you want to dance for the kids um <laughs> But yeah, I really like these. These are the things that I got from Affordable Uniform the other day. I also had to get this badge reel. You guys, you know I'm obsessed with pigs. And I saw this pig on the scooter and I'm like, I have to have it. So I got that. And now I'm going to try my two pair of figs for you guys that I got. All right, so I had to put my hair up. But these are the figs, the first pair. Like I said, I got two. So I got these red ones because my mom got an ad. And she sent it to me. She's like, the red will look so cute on you. And I was like, well, I have to get the red if my mom thinks it'll look good. And then the bottoms are like the jogger style. Um, obviously, I'll need to like tighten it up here with the tie. So it's, you know, tight. <laughs> but they're super cute and they're comfy. And they just, they do feel like really good quality. Never had a pair before. So I was like kind of excited. We have these blue ones which are so cute and then for both of these the tops the bottoms for the figs i got extra small and this one's a little bit fancy i'll have to make sure my armpits are shaved that day you know but it's pretty cute i think i like it and the same style like joggers and um i really just like this blue color i feel like it's kind of like your standard scrub color at least for me when i think of scrubs 
sorry my was barking but it's just so cute and they're comfy and i just am so excited to be able to kind of wear my own and not the you know gross ones we had to wear in labor and delivery obviously it's not about like what you wear and stuff but i just feel like it makes things a little bit more fun and i'm excited to be able to kind of express myself as well and just have some fun stuff for the kids i'm sure i'll find some cute holiday um shirts or stuff i can kind of pair with this as well and these are my scrubs isn't it just so crazy sometimes like the amount of information you can find in the textbook when you actually read the textbook i'm blowing anyway so we have an oral and written like powerpoint presentation where we have to like record audio over the powerpoint of us talking it has to be seven to nine minutes but i have about 13 slides and i talk a lot so i think it'll be fine so i'm just kind of filling out the rest of the information that i have Good morning you guys it is saturday july 22nd and it's 11 32 in the morning i just got to starbucks i'm gonna get my dad and i a drink and then i need to get my life together today like major um so i leave for new york tuesday morning it's saturday and we're leaving at 8 a.m so we need to do some Drake prep. We need to get a lot together. I finished everything for my first class. Everything is submitted, which is crazy. So I'm officially done with professional nursing practice. I think that's what it was called. I'm forgetting. But yeah, right now I have a 97% in the class. So I'm waiting for them to grade like my final presentation as well as my last discussion board. So I'm hoping to like up that a little more. I'm pretty sure that's an A, so I'm super proud of myself. Hi, good morning, how are you guys doing today? Hi, good, how are you? Good, hon, what can I do for you? Um, can I please get a large pink drink with no berries? All right, got you. And then can I also just do a large frozen coffee and that'll be it? Got you. How's your morning going? Good. 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 Are you doing anything this weekend? No, but I'm going to the Drake concert in <gasps> New York next oh week. Gosh. So I'm preparing That's for so that. Fun. I'm Wait, so excited. So driving I'm driving. Now? Um, okay. We leave Tuesday morning okay. and it's Wednesday night at Madison oh. Square Garden. Aye, aye, aye. I'm so That's excited. So I hope you have a good weekend. Yeah, have a great weekend. Thank See you. you. Bye. Bye. So as always, we will do an overview of the disaster right now. There's a lot. So we're gonna organize all of this because it needs to be organized before I can like see and like pack and everything. So let's turn on some Drake and let's get started cleaning. Oh, you go do your own 
time, I'll be cool in one time, I'm out of my mess up. Anything you wish me, that be a passion. Mm, bad man, not the walk up. All right, guys, so I am at my office. I got some wrapping paper, strawberries to wrap my desk in. I also need to get like borders for that. But it is this really cute floral print that me and Allie did. I look at all these expired COVID tests I got to toss. But um, yeah, so I'm going to wrap my desk. And I just got a tea. And I wanted to stop over here and drop some things off because these were in the back of my car. And I wanted to drop it off and do a little bit more decorating. Like, I think it looks so good and I'm so proud of myself. And then we have the side. And then over here, um, I still need to do get borders here. But I kind of put some stuff of like hypo, hyperglycemia, seizures, and like COVID, asthma. Some stuff that they already had up here before. And then over here, this is kind of like my stuff um, for like hearing screen and vision screen requirements as well as like vaccines and everything like that and it's so funny because i literally had to memorize that god forbidden chart in nursing school about vaccines so up here this is kind of like my little station where i'm going to be grabbing for things i need to refill up on the little teeth necklaces but it's kind of what's going on here and then you guys saw in my last vlog i organized my little supply closet here it's looking very nice. I'm gonna do like a whole tour of my office, but I just kind of have some things here. I need to get more of this save a tooth thing, so that's why it's out to remind me. But everything just looks so nice. My camera's about to die, but I wanted to show you guys this and I wanted to stop in and drop some things off. I'm so happy how that turned out. I have this super cute makeup bag from Drunk Elephant and I love this. I've used it as a makeup bag, but it's also like a really good toiletry bag. So I'm gonna start packing up my skincare stuff that I use. I also made like a little packing list here, mostly of like trying to remember toiletries and stuff. So I have my toners, a lighter moisturizer, my blemish cream, a thicker moisturizer. Make sure that's closed. I have like a teeny bit left of this. Hopefully this will be enough. Hopefully that'll be enough. Okay, body lotion eye cream deodorant i have like a mini one a bunch of mini ones i'll bring my native too i'm gonna bring extra contacts as well and my glasses put some extra contacts in there got my glasses in here need a contact case all right don't have like a small contact solution so i'm just gonna bring this whole thing also gonna bring sunscreen and then i have this like hollywood fashion tape so i'm gonna put that in this little ipsy pouch and i have some star pimple patches two whitening strips the hero pimple patches under eye little patches a bunch of blister band-aids so i want to put all of those in here and then i have a teeth whitening pen i'm going to put in here and then also i could probably put those right in there and then i have nip sticks the go-to I feel like these, I always wear these. They're amazing. All right, so I'm going to do hair stuff in this bag. This is a cute little drunk elephant bag. Um, I'm going to bring my got-to-be glue, this bedhead stick, these combs, um, these for braids, because I'm sure I will be doing some sort of braids. Do I need this whole thing of hair ties? No, but you really never know. 
gonna throw in some bobby pins in here. Maybe I should, I'll just put them in here. I'm also gonna take, this is the makeup eraser. I love this. This one's clean. I mean, it's a little stained, but this is good for taking off your makeup. And then I have this travel size of the Makeup Melting Butter Cleanser Witch Bob from Drunk Elephant. Also, cotton rounds are a must. I don't even know if this is gonna be enough, but we'll put them in here. Zip that up. Also gonna pack my scent bird and the one that I'm gonna be taking is this pink sugar creamy sunshine because I'm literally obsessed with it. I'm gonna put that right in there. Okay, so we kind of have quite the disaster here. I was trying on some things and stuff and something I recommend doing, which I just thought of is like cutting off, <laughs> my arm's still drained. Um, cutting off like tags and stuff. If you don't have scissors, normally I bring like little eyebrow scissors. I love these little bags. This is a G-Force travel brand. I think I got them from Marshalls. I know they have like, I'm sure like name brand ones, but I'm gonna put like PJs and casual stuff, like comfy stuff. Okay, look at these. PJ pants that I got from Target in the men's section. Me and my boyfriend were shopping and he needed stuff and then I, we were like in the guy section and I was like, I need these and I'm obsessed. They're so comfy. And they're like light so they're not like super warm which is nice. So what I need to do now is dermaplane my face, get the peach fuzz off. We're also gonna tweeze the eyebrows, trim them up. I'm looking at myself in the eye. And then also I'm gonna put my gemsies on my teeth. I had one in the last video and I saw um, some comments about it. I just did it myself. I got these on Amazon. I feel like there's like mixed reviews. Mine, one stayed on for like literally a month, which is crazy. And it didn't do like any staining on my teeth or anything. I know some people say they did. And I also just got other gems on Amazon. So yeah, but I'm gonna do these. And then I'm also gonna do, after my shower, put on like lash extensions. So let's do this. We'll do a face mask, shower, and then hopefully it'll be more put together.